Welcome back. Now the pea platers who drive dangerously and film it for everyone to see. There are calls to have them shut down and charged. Well, I think the sort of things we're seeing in that video, you know, is reckless, it is antisocial. When I see these idiots on the street doing burnouts, doing slide outs, I'm just peed off. A viewer alerted us to this lot. They're called P Plater Spec, and in a series of videos on YouTube, they chronicle their idiotic adventures on public roads in souped up Supras and Skylines. Where are we going? Jump in what are you drinking? Rum! It just sends a shiver down your spine. You know, wet weather condition. Could have tripped over that curb really easily. Former race car driver turned road safety expert Russell White. You get the initial shot that they've got under control, but there's three pieces of video there where it's ended up in the car being spun around. You can see them jump onto and off moving cars, hang from the roof, and they proudly admit to burnouts in front of the local police station. It pretty much shows that level of, of, of I guess, un disrespect they have for not only the law but for other people, and really just putting that at their own behaviour above the, uh, the safety of everyone else. She's young and she's excited and she's inexperienced. So we are really relying on you, all the drivers in our city, to be patient with her. When radio announcer Terry Hansen's daughter recently got her pee plates, he recorded a video asking other drivers to be considerate. It's all of our jobs to be patient with pee platers. But when they see these guys carrying on the way they are, Everyone's wary, everyone's disrespectful, everyone's you know, got a, a very accusing eye on all pee players, which would include my daughter. Hey mum, I'm what everyone else wants to be. I'm going to drive a <laughs> man now. I'm going to drink <laughs> It, it is really scary to me that, that we see so much of this sort of activity. It happens on streets right around the country, but when you see it captured on video and the, the culture that's sort of driving it, it's a real concern. Their videos have been watched more than 100,000 times, which is obviously why they keep recording them. Apart from my concern for the fact that these guys are doing it and not yet dead, but, you know, it's coming, who's watching it who's no good at this is going to give it a crack? As you start to get involved in these sorts of, you know, taping these sorts of uh, incidents, invariably um, they get sort of desensitised to what that is. So the, the next level of uh, engagement that they're looking for may even actually require greater risks. What's happening now, Ashley? We're going home, we're going to jumpstart a corona and do six kids. Oh, more skids! And then possibly have a head on with a motorbike. <laughs> Hopefully they'll grow out of their trash talk and bad behaviour. That is, if they don't kill anyone first. As far as I know, in Hoon Laws, you can get your car confiscated these days, but I've looked at those cars, it wouldn't cost much to replace them. But uh, don't make me say that a P word while the parent's doing We have passed those videos on to police. We'll let you know what happens.